It was just, we, we talked about this um, early on as he was, was struggling. You know, he, he has the capabilities of doing things that most people who play this game, they don't have. And um, when he gets it figured out, and I know uh, our fans have, have seen that and that season he had in 19 pretty uh, amazing what he was able to accomplish and um to be able to keep keep at it keep fighting um stay with it keep working trying to adjust and um you know being rewarded for his perseverance and um you know he's a he's a game changer Lynn? Hey, Skip, what uh, did you think about the way the uh, you got the tone setting Mike Miner did for you guys um, and just this last stretch? I mean, I think the stretch started with Miner, quality start, and keeps it going here. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, we were hopeful when uh, we brought Mike in that he'd be the kind of guy that would set that, that tone for our guys with the experience that he's had and the success that he's had to kind of um, set the bar for the rest of the staff. And he you know, came out and did another great job. He got out of his delivery a little bit. I thought uh, Salvi and Cal did a nice job of kind of giving him some reminders to get him back to where he could finish that up. Uh, had a couple nice defensive plays behind. Um, but Mike, uh, he, he made an adjustment. Even Cal was talking about even in the bull. Then there's some things that didn't feel quite right. You know, that's that veteran picture. We talk about the, the learning curve with the young guys, and it's uh, the experience of, of going out there and going into your pen, something not feeling right, being able to make the, the minor tweaks to get yourself locked back in. And then uh, next thing you know, you're standing there through six innings and giving us a chance. Alec? Yeah, um, Mike, just how big was Dice and, and Wick continue to put pressure on in the fifth and then Benny doing what he did in the sixth? Yeah, um, you know, you're talking two outs there and guys making things happen. And, uh, um, you know, the, the ball jump for Benny, the, that part of the field is still just amazes me that uh, guys can, can get the ball out of K on the, going to the opposite gap like that. And uh, that's when his swing is right. And I know that was exciting for him to kind of get into that field of where he's driving the ball into that opposite left field gap. So, um, and with having a couple of balls that he hit the other way, they had him played perfect and uh, just showing hustle. I was actually surprised when he rounded second, but he made up great ground from second to third, turned it into another, almost another gear um, and, and dice being, uh, being dice. Um, great job of getting on base for us. Rob? Hey, Skip, you told us to expect a really cool story in the second half. Uh, starting out this way, last six games, is this what you envisioned? I've been talking since, shoot, I don't know, spring training about getting, you know, uh, all the pieces together. And part of those pieces are pieces that are doing what they're doing right now. And, um, Doge taking better at bats and Solaire. This is uh, this is Solaire. So it's it's impressive to watch, and it just gives us that depth through that lineup. But it's going to start with the starting pitching, and once again, Mike continuing that, and hopefully, um, we just keep passing it on to the next guy. Uh, but getting big outs out of the bullpen too. The guys did a nice job coming out of the pen and, and giving us a chance to to put that one away, and Scotty finished it.